way he talked to us, but he made us champions. Bitch, that's all I want to hear. Hey guys, this is Dominique Wilkins. And hey, this is Sean Kemp. This is Gary Payton. Hey, this is Paul Gasol. And you're a fan, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man Sean Davis. Hey guys, what's good? Welcome back to the Basketball Time Machine. My name is Sean David. Thanks for tuning in. Let's talk some old school NBA basketball. A couple of days ago, I posted a video about the Scottie Pippen, Horace Grant and Luke Longley No Bull Tour. If you haven't seen it, just short version. The three of them are in Australia, basically giving their opinion about the Last Dance documentary. And obviously there will be a lot of bashing about Michael Jordan. And yeah, to me it was just really really interesting to see how NBA legends respond so this is what we're going to take a look in this episode and I would say enough of that blah blah let's get right into it Now, before we start, just one more quick thing. Now, one of the reasons why I was super curious about the reaction, A, from the fans, from NBA journalists and from NBA legends was, I could not imagine that there was anybody on this earth who'd, who would really say that, oh, this is a great idea, you guys, you should really, really do it. And now after researching through the internet, watching a couple of shows, also going on social media, I could not find too many people who really thought that this was a great idea, just as I imagined. But anyway, let's take a look at some of the clips first. Last Dance helped a lot of us get through the pandemic. Uh, but not everybody was a fan, uh, especially some of MJ's teammates. So according to the NBL, uh, Scottie Pippen, Horace Grant, and Luke Longley are going on a no bull tour to tell their side of the last dance story and what it was like playing for the Bulls in the 90s. And we can't see it in this photo, but Horace Grant actually had a pair of J's on. Uh, <laughs> they made the announcement. <laughs> what are J's? Or they... I don't look like you got him from finish line. Uh-oh. Yes. <laughs> it may have been else. Them shits was nasty. Team Jordan. <laughs> Not even he team. Got a, them Team Jordan. He, he, he <laughs> can't get the regular one. No. He's forbidden. Yeah. He put his address in. This shit red oh, flag. Man, wearing his shoes at the same time is crazy. Uh, hey. What do y'all think about uh, that Bulls trio going in to kind of question the narrative of how they were presented in the last day? You mean presented like... Uh, NBA champions? Uh, that was part of it. Okay. So they're presented as NBA champions is basically when they're going in there saying how great it was, you know, uh, with their talent and skill. Art, you know. And they won some championships because that's what uh, the media have us valuing, right? Championships is what our <laughs> legacy is, right? So I hope they go in there and talk about how great it was to be pushed by the greatest man of all time <coughs> and made them some legitimate champions for them to even go on stage to talk about the three championships that they had because we all know they wouldn't have won without it. So it should be all love, we will hope. Because if they say anything negative about winning the championship, it will kind of like hurt the legacy of just ring culture because you got three men up there that got, what, 12 rings? between the three of them, talking how bad it was to win it. Ooh. Scottie Pippen, Horace Grant, and Luke Longley will be telling their side of the Chicago Bulls' last dance in what will be called the No Bull Tour. It's in Australia. Scottie famously not a fan of Jordan's retelling. S.A., break it down. Scott, Scottie Pippen's going to embarrass himself. Everybody knows he's not Michael Jordan. He never was. And the fact of the matter is, is that no matter what he uh, is offended by, the facts were the facts. You saw what he did. You saw what he did while not going in the game because Phil Jackson didn't call his number. You we know he's a six-time champion, and Michael Jordan calls him his greatest teammate ever. But he's doing this because he's giving resistance to what was portrayed in the, in the, docu in the okay, docuseries. Let Perk get in here real mistake. quick. Well, well, you don't know. You don't know, and I don't know. It's three sides to every story. It's, yep. it's Jordan's side, it's Pippen and, and his teammate's side, and then it's the truth. They could tell their side of the story. The last dance was built to make Jordan look great. 
That's why all these situations that's been happening, like the bull, the booing of uh, Jerry Cross's uh, wife, like that was unacceptable in United Center, that was because of the Last Dance documentary. Let them tell their side of the story because we don't know because we wasn't there. Well, now Scottie Pippen, Luke Longley, Horace Grant are telling their side of the story. And an upcoming speaking engagement tour in Australia. Oh, yeah, that's the right place for them. No, they knew where to go. Exactly. <laughs> three. Because Longley's from there, so he's going to draw people. Right, it, right. It kicks off tomorrow night in Tasmania. It's called the <laughs> No Bull Tour, where <laughs> they will share their thoughts on what Horace Grant calls a BS documentary that, and tell wow. their side of the story on The Last they, Dance. They had two options. They could have gone to hell or to Australia. And I think they went to Australia. Chris. I'm leaving that alone. But they're going to Australia. I mean, I, look, they, they, I don't know that that would fly. Is anybody going to see that in America? No. I mean, really, what are you going to sit there and badmouth Michael Jordan and you think somebody? Now, again, Australia, because Longley's Luke, from there, Longley, right. that was smart. But you do that in America, and obviously Jordan's huge all over the world, but I, Rob, I, and I get it. I don't know. I wasn't there, right? We don't know. I'm sure there's some truth to what they're saying. But people aren't really trying to hear you just badmouth Michael Jordan. And, and I mean, I'm sorry. Like, that's, that's the status he's reached, right? He's like mythical status almost. I, I agree. But here's the problem I have with Scottie Pippen being involved. He was on the documentary, Chris. They, they sat down. Wasn't Grant? I thought yeah, it Grant might have had that. They could have pushed back. Scotty saw it before it was released. Right. And, like, and like, David the, the, like, and then he goes like, oh, well, I didn't get paid. Dude, you could have said when they sat you down, what, what's, what's my cut? What am I getting for doing? Okay, just like that. But what's the narrative? What was the narrative that they push? Well, he said something like that bullshit documentary, yeah, right? I know. He called it bullshit. So, I, so that means it got to be negative. Because he's saying, he's saying it was bullshit. So it's something that he want to talk about that wasn't told. That's what I'm saying. How does he want to, like, how are they portrayed inside of the, the document? Besides champions? Something like that, Gil. Uh, I don't think it was wholly positive. I believe Horace Grant was called a snitch and w w was going to the media, giving inside info. Giving inside info on what? Winning championships? Uh, on culture. All I'm saying is, on red culture. <laughs> all I'm trying to say, this is ring culture, y'all. Yeah. This is yeah. one of the best dynasties the world yeah. have, yeah. has ever known. Yeah. Right? So that's all I want. Okay, I just be careful, motherfuckers out there. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't let me get in question rings again. Man, it's a lot. They ain't happy with the rings. It's just a lot. <laughs> it's a lot over there. And I just want to see how media treats it, though. Because they're going to have to stand tall on the, what they push out to. Push out to the rest of us, because, you know, you're, you're talking about people's legacies and, and you know, sacri sacrifices and stuff like that. And this right here can just jeopardize everything that people talk about. Now, those clips that I have shown you are just a handful of those that are available on YouTube. Obviously, there are a lot. Now, my question is, what seriously is the motivation of Luke Longley, Horace Grant and Scottie Pippen? Like, who told them that there is a legit chance of people actually responding in a positive way? It just makes them look bad. Eve, and this is the thing, everybody who watched the Last Dance documentary and watched the media stuff afterwards, everybody knows that Scottie Pippen had his issues. Everybody knows that Horace Grant has his issues. Everybody already has seen their perspective. So why would you go to Australia and make a tour out of it? It just does not make sense and it really, really looks bad. And to me, to be honest, and this hurts so much, I'm such a Scottie Pippen fan basketball wise. The past two years, Scottie is looking terrible, terrible. The way that he's not only responding, the, the, the way that he's bashing MJ. Look, it's totally understandable that you have a huge issue with Michael Jordan, son, dating your ex-wife i hated it too but this has nothing to do with michael jordan he is not his son and it's totally okay also if you don't want to be friends with michael jordan if you don't like him that's totally fine but you don't see michael jordan touring and going around the uh the show uh the show circus bashing you it has simply no class and scotty you are a grown man 
keep some dig dignity and class, please. It's important, man. Don't ruin your legacy. People want to remember you for the sensational and great players. Luke Longley to you, man. Jordan took the time to basically give a 30 uh, minutes episode talking about you on your uh, Australian television show. Jordan hardly does any interviews and he really took the time for you, man. And now you're being part of this. Doesn't look good. Horace Grant, we already know that you said that you uh, that it wasn't you who gave the information to Sam Smith. We get it. But man, if it wasn't for Jordan, sorry, you would have not won uh, three championships with the Bulls. And don't forget, you had a sensational team with the Orlando Magic. Did you win a championship? Enough said. You guys, let me know in the comments below what you think about the whole situation. Did you expect these kind of reactions from the media and NBA legends? Let me know. And for the first time, I actually uh, agree with Gilbert Arenas. Does not happen that often. But anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think. And hopefully I'll see you next time on the Basketball Time Machine.